Welcome to Around Town featuring what's happening here in the greater Concord area. I'm your host, Dick Bowden. It's a pleasure to welcome you back. And summer sprung all of a sudden. Yes, we're still in early April, but I've got my short sleeve Michigan shirt on, my new one this year. But um, all of a sudden, we're up almost 90 today. But tomorrow, we're supposed to slide back. But Summer sprung, Paul. It I, sure has. What the heck happened here? Driving I mean, up here today on Loudon Road, people in their shorts oh, and yeah, tank tops, yeah. and I bet Arnie's is doing a land office business I today. I know, and Dairy Queen probably <clears throat> wishing they were open. But I'm sure they were. Yeah, no. But all of a sudden, they've got pansies out for sale mm -hmm. and geraniums and all that it's stuff. It's just... A, and a week ago, we were still recovering from that snowstorm. Yeah, I, I know. mean, it was still out there. So it's... it's it's Well, it's New England, and I they mean, say if you don't the, like it, wait. The Easter lilies are out and the tulips yes. and all that. Yes. But, you know, that was a mostly to me. The Easter lilies are a house plant. Mm -hmm. But I do replant them after it's over with, and they do come up again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tulips definitely are, they, they all come up every year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my grandmother was always a big pansy fan, mm -hmm. and she would always wait till the end of April mm -hmm. before you put pansies in. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears> these <throat> stores, they seem to think the first warm day is time to put pansies they out, do. because of it's March or February. They do. <laughs> So as, as we tape this, we're almost halfway between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. Yes, we are. It's Actually, tomorrow. Wednesday. Uh, yes. Tomorrow's tomorrow. Wednesday. Yes. yes, that's right. Yeah, Easter will be coming <laughs> gone by the time the show gets on. But, yes. Uh, you know, with the Easter candy, the big rabbit is in the window, I guess. At is it? I, I, had, I still haven't been by. I haven't. My sister was by, and she said, yes, the Easter bunny is uh, in the window. So well, I guess um, that's who, good. Whoever's going to win that, I can't imagine that. But And you have the Heights the Egg mm -hmm. event is this coming weekend, or the day before yeah, uh, Easter. On Saturday, yeah. Yes. We planned out we uh, stuffing 5,000 plastic eggs wow. tomorrow. Amazing. And we've had a good, we've had a very good response from uh, Target gave us a hundred dollar donation for candy. Nice, nice. And I went down there, they had it already. It was a big shopping <clears throat> cart, well <throat> overloaded, and I could not uh -huh. believe it, but my car was full. <clears throat> and then I got, uh, Hannaford did 35, uh, 25 from Sam's Club, 25 from Heights Shaw's, mm -hmm. and then I got in the mail a surprise, a 25 donation from Market Basket, and I right. didn't ask them. <clears throat> and uh -huh. um, well, that's then nice. I had a, cup, a couple that were in behind me in line up to the Dollar Tree one day, uh, sent me a $50 donation. They're really? from West Concord, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they, so we're going to use that for prizes. Mm -hmm. So we're well in wow. shape. But I see that we're, we, we're, we're uh, competing against Kimball Jenkins Estate. What are they doing? They're doing an, another ex, 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 yeah, extravaganza or whatever you want to call oh, it. Oh, oh. And uh, so, you know, whatever. Well, everybody's, you know, it's a free country. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, years ago, every city park had it when the Hamburg exactly. did it. But, oh, yes, yes. But, Ours was usually at White's Park, I think. White Park. Yeah, you had you were there. Yes. And they always had one at Friday night for the teenagers. But mm -hmm. I didn't get involved in that because I just wanted to see how this one goes right. first mm -hmm. before I tackle anything else on. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, <clears throat> but the recreation department said that they've been getting t a lot of calls about it. Mm -hmm. So that's good. 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 Yeah, you know. But well, hopefully the paper will be there to cover, or at least the inside. Well, they well they did an egg issue today. Yeah, uh, but, but the Sunday Concord Monitor yes. never put any of the East Side Town Cry and News in. Uh huh. The whole column was not in at all. Mm. I wrote to the reporter, and she said I submitted it on time, mm -hmm. but it wasn't there. That's the column you used to yeah, do, right? Yeah, I used right? to do it for many, many years. Fifteen years of yes. it. Yes, and I couldn't do it after I got, became an elected official, mm -hmm. which was mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah. But anyway, mm. so that was that. But now we're getting toward the end of we're looking toward the end of April, and yes, then towards are. the May will bring us a month from now. will bring us into the Kiwanis Fair, mm -hmm. and I talked to Chris Pappas, and they're already getting ready for it. And of course, 
what scares them is that they lack of members to do things with. Mm -hmm. Their membership is down. Oh, vastly. yeah, way down, yeah. yeah. It's not, I don't know. You know, people talk about people being better connected today because of social media, but I think it costs. Yeah, people may be connected online and sitting at their computer, but they don't connect in organizations and groups. Nope. And <clears throat> it's the same, I understand, with the Knights of Columbus and some yep. of those groups. They're having a hard time finding people who want to commit the time. They do. And, uh, and younger people don't really have any kind of interest in yep. being involved involved in that kind of activity. And plus the fact that are in the kids in school are involved in band and orchestra mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. sports of every kind mm -hmm. you can think of, mm -hmm. and drama and arts and all that stuff, and of course homework, but so they're not into this no. stuff. And if no. they have free time off the movies, they go yeah. or someplace. Or something else, right. You know, <clears throat> and if you're a mm. sports fan, you can down to watch the Fisher Cats or go to Fenway Park mm -hmm. in Boston. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, compared to what it was years ago, it, there's a lot mm. going on. And the Grange, like everything else, is falling by the wayside. Yes. But... Uh, I don't know. Uh, what will happen if the Kiwanis membership dwindles to a point where they can't do the fair anymore? I mean, that's I been... It's too much for how us. How many to, years has that been? I mean, I know it was before we were kids. It was around. I think it, it started mm -hmm. It started after the Christmas parade. I know ah, that. Okay. It's after the parade started. So it's around 60... We're in our 67th year, I think, on the parade, uh -huh. or 66th year. <clears throat> and so they've got to be around their 61st or whatever with mm -hmm. that fair, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because the Kiwanis themselves are close to being 100 years old, mm -hmm. the club. Mm -hmm. And I think it is because the first year they had one, the first couple of years, it was at Green Street Community Center. Really? <laughs> ah. Excuse me. When it was the National Guard Armory. Uh-huh. And then it moved over from there to the Concord Airport uh -huh. when they had the rides right. and the big tents <clears throat> on the runways right. out there. Mm -hmm. And then, then it to the Highway Hotel. Then it went to the yeah. Highway Hotel, and it really blossomed there because it did. the state ballroom and the Frank right. Theater room were loaded mm -hmm. with uh, exhibitors. From local dealers yeah, and oh, people. Yeah. yeah, everyone was there. Oh, yeah, Concord Lumber. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Every car dealership. Beattie, yeah, BD Electric was in there. Sprague Electric was in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Marky Manis with his clothing mm -hmm. were there. And uh, Fletcher Murphy paints and all. Everything was yes. there. No and that what, was an uh, event I think 90% of the people in oh Concord gosh. went to. Yeah. I mean, you ran into everyone. The Miss Kiwanis Fair Tournament yes. was held. Right. Queen Tournament. And... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was the and then Never's band always gave a concert yes. on set. because you gotta remember now that fair was always in June. Yes, it was. Yes, and then they moved it to May, mm -hmm. and that's where it kind of little Changed bit of the weather the, and yes, stuff. Yes, exactly. But, you know, it just but so I don't know. I don't know if any other organization would grab it. I don't know, but yeah, it's like everything else. I mean, it's too big for me to get involved in. I mean, even I'm an mm -hmm. honorary member, but well, you have all you can do between the you know Christmas Grange parade and, and yeah. The, yeah the Grange and the I I see you on their Facebook page frequently, the Grange page, mm -hmm. and you're yeah. doing a lot about their history and yeah. providing information, which yeah. I think you know that would be something for viewers certainly if they want to know really more about the Grange. Yeah. That some of the information you're putting on there is incredibly yeah. interesting. Going back from the hundred within the hundred and forty odd years and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what the Grangers did back then mm -hmm. and what they're doing today, but it's interesting because some of the names that well, this here's a good example here. The state government is putting together this statue up there in the library. Governor Wine. Yeah, John yeah. Wine. Yes. And the other day I was going through some Grange records, and I had a suspicion because at one time most governors and politicians along were a part of the Grange they were. Mm -hmm. And it was a Grange in Concord, it was called Capital Grange, and they all jo or joined, had joined there because Capital mm -hmm. Grange was located in downtown Concord. Mm -hmm. 
And so I went to the records, and by gosh, I found it. His name was in there, him and his wife. They were Grange members. And I said to Steve Sherloff, I said, you know, I said, if you're going to do a history of him, would you please include the Grange? Mm -hmm. Because he was a past mm -hmm. master and stuff. Mm -hmm. well, I didn't know that. I said, well, it's in the records. I've got it. Mm -hmm. So... Great. But a lot of the governors were. Thompson was a Grange member, mm -hmm. and uh, Peter Walter Peterson was, mm -hmm. and um, go way back, Shrem Adams, um, Charlie Dale, um, Styles Bridges, mm -hmm. who was a U.S. Senator, right. he was a Granger. So, I mean, a lot of them yes, were. Yes, absolutely. But, you know. Yeah, the parade would be sitting, sitting here thinking I got my first donation for the tree lighting, but still haven't gotten the uh, fund me one yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I think that's going to be our goodbye one, but mm -hmm. it's too bad. That is too bad. Because that was such a good intent, you know, when it was created. But what's well, good to see that somebody's already giving toward this coming year. And it's mm -hmm. funny because I get calls every mm -hmm. once in a great while about the Memorial Day Parade. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I don't do that one. Mm -hmm. I said, but I can give you the uh, name of the person who you should talk to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Well, I have a feeling this year with the tree lighting and the Christmas parade, there'll be a little bit more outpouring. I think, well, yes, last year, I think the whole election year oh. just completely obliterated people's sense of holiday spirit. And I think that this year... You know, whatever people may think about what the outcome was, there still will be a certain, well, let's make the best of the holidays. And uh, hopefully some of those people, and I know a few of them that, you know, are right there and don't give so much as a penny. No, they don't. But maybe they will open their pockets for a change. And well, the Grange is a member of the Chamber of Commerce now, too. Yes. Oh, uh-huh. So maybe... That will that help, will help and stir a few people. To who knows? But mm -hmm. I mean, those are how the again that law firm who thinks it's a frivolous event. You yes, know, well, exactly. Let them think what they want to think. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but anyway, you know. And then we already had two, the two candidates announced already for pop the state office next year. Really? Oh yeah, Steve Marchand has announced his run for governor. He's going to ah. run. Then there's a gentleman over in the seacoast that's going to run against um, Carol Shea Porter. Uh -huh. I can't remember his name, but he's going to run for that. So. I would have thought Frank Ginter would have run again since they just seem to alternate yeah, back no. and forth. He probably will eventually. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, uh -huh. yeah. So I was surprised with that. And that's awfully, what, a year and a half? They've, yeah. Um, but I see, guess that's the thing is. The early bird catches a worm. And you've got to get supporters and build a you so know, constituency. I don't know. But, but huh. evidently, I mean, I don't know whether the current administration is not very popular with mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's like with Trump and that mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sad where we're looking at maybe a war coming on here. But no. anyhow, but... No, it just, you know, looking at downtown. Have you heard any more about Concord Theater where they're moving? No, back? nothing at all. Nothing I at heard, all. I haven't heard so that either. I know that the Capitol Center is trying to, you know, get some big, you know, heavy duty people involved with, because they need to raise three to four million dollars, apparently. Mm. And that's a formidable amount of money. Um, and I mean, I've offered, I said, to certainly I said I would go and chat about it to a group of potential, uh, you know, uh, donors and tell them a history because sometimes people are more apt to give if they realize a place has a history in the mm. community instead of just, oh, let's make a new performing site. Uh, but if they understand why it's there and how it came to be, but I haven't had any response on that. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I you know, I recognize at a certain point that, and and you know it too. I mean, there are certain groups in Congress that think they can just do it their way, and do things the way they want to, and they don't really welcome outside input if oh, no, it's not no. on their you know especially, radar. Especially for if they're from the heights. Yeah. Yeah. You know, where, where the, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to see these new apartments that are building up out here. 
Now, where are, are those on Airport Road? No, they're no. on. They're on. If you look behind, um, oh gosh, Home Depot. Oh, okay. Yes. Shaw's. They're right yes. up behind there. Oh, okay. And I don't go down in that area. No, very I, often, I don't either. But. And I made a point the other day to go because they have two huge uh-huh. buildings, and I bet they go four and five stories. And mm-hmm. twelve mm-hmm. is for the fifty-five and older. Uh-huh. I don't know if they're going to be pricey or if they're right. going to be affordable mm-hmm. income, but mm-hmm. they are. They are. They, oh. I don't know they call okay. it now Fox Point or something. I don't know oh. something like that. But Who is behind it? I have no yeah. idea. Huh. <clears throat> wow, that's so interesting. So they're they're looking at a good mm-hmm. amount of people mm-hmm. going to go moving in there, but. Wow. So that'll add to Ward 8's uh, yes. count. So that counts. means Absolutely. come redistricting time again, whether that's going to shape mm-hmm. us up another another thing mm-hmm. or what they'll do. But I see red arrows coming along. And yes, that seems to be moving right along pretty fast. It's enormous. Yeah. I mean, it, or yeah. maybe it's because of the law that's on, but it just looks... The parking is... Where's the parking? I, gonna, I don't I mean, know. the size of it looks like it would easily hold 80, 90, 100 people. Mm. But where are you going to put the 25, 30, 40 cars? I don't know, because... <clears throat> because the other gas station is staying there. That's yeah, I mobile. Thought it, isn't I, thought going it anywhere. Was, I thought it was going, too. No, no. Not. They had said that they, were, they got rid of the mobile car wash that yeah. was there. But apparently mobile's staying there, and then Sunoco is going to be yeah. up by, yeah, uh, be by, yeah, by Dairy Queen. Yep. Which uh, I guess there's still room there, too, for a restaurant, because they had talked about mm. putting a chain restaurant, but I haven't heard anything further nope. you know, on that. But um, who knows? I know it, because it's just it's crazy the way it's going, but... Yeah. Yeah, loud motor container. And the mall, I guess, is just still pitiful. Yes. Yeah. I was in. You drive by there and there's not many cars. Oh, there aren't. No, it's 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 heartbreaking, really. People don't even go there to walk like they used to. A lot of people used to go up there and just walk around for the exercise. But I go down through Main Street, Mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes there's no many cars there either. No. And if there are, it's a nice day like this. It's because they're eating out. Yes. You're not right. shopping. No, per se. And no. No, no. I mean, you don't no. have the stores that we had years ago mm-hmm. where you would shop, you know. Right. This is all mostly eating places down mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. But that, most of those are closed by 5 or 6 in the evening. Mm. Most of the, I mean, some of the restaurants stay open. But the majority of the cafes and those places, yep. you know, are not open in the evening. And I see... More and more, you know, businesses leaving. Um, yep. The one that went into French's, they have a sign up now. Yeah, right they've there. got part of theirs has been has they've uh, blocked it off. And yeah. It's available for rent. Yeah. Now. So. Well, I, I, you know, you can just have so many of yes. those consignment shops. Right. And we there. have an awful and, lot of them in Concord. And, yeah, and I mean, people just. No. I mean, it's not something you necessarily, oh, let's go downtown Concord to, uh, you know. Consignment shop. Consignment shop, yeah. necessarily. And, I mean, some of them, apparently Outfitters is doing very well, and it's built a good, you Where know. that one? That's the one where the Friendly Club used to be. Oh, down there, yes. Yes, yes. And, uh, and I've been in, and they did a beautiful job on the interior. Mm. It's very beautifully laid out and a nice selection of things. Mm. But, um, you know, it's, it's, there isn't. I mean, I, I guess they've just hired somebody now to help with oh, yeah, bringing businesses with, in. Yeah. Um, and I don't know whether it's going to work. Somebody from Pittsburgh uh, who's... New Hampshire or Pennsylvania? No, <laughs> Pennsylvania. So I don't know how she is going to... Uh, I wish they had hired or found someone who understands the area. Yeah. Because you can come in from another place I know, yeah. with all these ideas, which may be great in some settings and situations. But if you don't really understand the community, where it was, where it is, where it needs to be, you can throw out a lot of suggestions and ideas mm-hmm. and plans, but they may not come to fruition. Um, and I just, you know, but... I wish her all the best and good luck. And I know because I, I, did we have a new assistant city manager? I'm not sure because I, I 
I haven't heard anything about Carlos by lately. No, he was the one that sent out the press release announcing her. On it was in oh, Monday's okay. Monitor. Oh, so he is in yes, okay. so I think he's. Yeah, I think he's still so they, there. They named uh, somebody else as deputy city manager. I thought, oh, oh, mm-hmm. so I threw her surprised. Yeah, huh. so we shall see. I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I just don't feel the energy and vitality that we used to feel oh, downtown. Know. And I know times have changed and people shop yeah. online and all that, but there still isn't that certain energy and vibrancy down there um, nope. <clears throat> that that uh, was talked about and, and was going to do all of these things. In fact, more and more people I speak to are frustrated at the parking and, you know, go somewhere else rather than downtown oh, I know. because of yeah. the, and they can't necessarily use the parking garage. My mother who still drives locally but she can never find a handicapped place no. downtown and she's not going to park in a garage and walk four blocks nope, nope. at 93. Uh, so she just skips going and she'll yeah. go elsewhere if something that you know she needs and yeah. I just think that it's not especially user friendly and I, I still see people regularly frustrated by the uh, you know the the getting a ticket out of the thing and how long it takes and you know if you don't park right near one and the walking back and forth just uh, particularly when the weather's bad yeah um, but I don't know it was it is what it is I guess so and we can only hope that you know uh, one or two businesses. I mean, you've mentioned a dollar store down there, and it would bring in people because a dollar store is a destination place. I know the one that's by Market Basket's always busy. In fact, sometimes I'll go, there's a Dollar Tree or something over there, and I, sometimes I'll go to Market Basket in the morning, and people are actually lined up outside of the dollar store waiting to get in when they open. Well, the one up there behind Newark, up on Loudon Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Constantly busy. Yeah. So I think, certainly, if there was one on Main Street, it would attract a number of people who... Well, I think of those, like at like Crutchfield Apartments, yes. so down yes. at Kennedy, you know, Kennedy yes. Apartments, yes. and... And Menino Fire, Place. Well, that, and, and yeah. Firehouse Block, where yeah. my sister is. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be good places, I'm probably... They would be. CVS yes. is not a department store. Oh, no, and CVS is very expensive. If and you buy. I don't know if it's handicapped accessible either. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got some of them stores down there, and I hate to say it, mm -hmm. Grand State Candy. Yeah. A wheelchair cannot get in there. No, no. Even with me, with my walker or my, uh, I have a hard time getting in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just is not <clears throat> handicapped no, right. accessible. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, uh, I've noticed as I go down, because I'm on, we had a bill come in the legislature that I'm working on with somebody about handicap you know, facilities and parking. Mm -hmm. And that's the bill it's in right now is about the parking. And so I'm watching along these different areas how many spaces they mm -hmm. have because mm -hmm. a lot of them don't mm -hmm. have anything. No, no, no. You know, they, they just, they just <coughs> don't have help the uh, handicap at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so, but I, I don't know, Paul. It's just, it's really crazy as we, as we start toward into the spring season mm -hmm. and you know, Never's band will be starting up at the end, middle they of will June. Be. Yes. And some yes. will be graduations will be starting up. Oh, before you know it. I mean, you they're know, all the summer's coming. They're already in their last semester. I yeah. Think, in the school oh, yes. already. So yeah, it it does. It has a way. The April vacation is coming up in a couple of weeks. School yeah. vacation. Yeah. We and have then, the last, last whole yeah. week of June. I mean, of April. April. And then they go back for six weeks, just about. And that's, and that's it. it. And that's it. Another year gone. Yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, isn't it? Didn't go by that fast when we were in school. No, it didn't. <laughs> Gosh, I, I can. <clears throat> Sometimes it seemed endless. Just. I can always say we, we couldn't wait until the 1st of June. Yes. Maybe the last of May, but usually mm -hmm. the first of June when we started passing the books and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. getting ready for finals or mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, that was always a treat. It was. It was. And we always had a class picnic. Yeah. Oh, did you? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I remember over here at Dame School, mm -hmm. we we always had a class picnic outside. It consisted of a hot dog and roll, mm -hmm. 
potato salad, uh, celery sticks, carrot sticks, mm -hmm. and something for dessert or something. We used to sit outside on the grass or whatever. And that was our class, uh, our school picnic. Yeah. Nice. Then at high school, of course, at high, senior picnic was we went over to White's M Park. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. That was a big deal. Uh huh. Now they go down to York Beach or down to Hanwell. Do they really? Buses well, and the whole? Yeah, one time, one, a few years ago, Jim Cassano and I went down to plan the Christmas parade mm -hmm. because he was that was his first year we were going to take it over. Mm -hmm. We went down to York Beach and we sat there on Short Sands. And there was a whole gang of kids from Merrimack Valley mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, I didn't know they went this far, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So, wow. but things have changed. Yes, that's for sure. Problems will start up eventually, yeah. junior problems yes. and all that. Mm. Yeah, I know. You know, it's crazy, isn't it, <laughs> Paul? But I don't know. I just know that. Uh, mm. Get through April and May, Mother's Day coming up. It and, is, and it is. Cemeteries, go to the cemeteries. Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. And all of that. You know, it's just, I, mean, I went up to the cemetery the other day and put a, a wreath on my folks' grave mm -hmm. for Easter. Mm -hmm. Whether I will still be there when I go back up, I don't know, but it's there, it was there the other day. But And I put one on my grandparents' mm -hmm. grave too, but, you know, it just doesn't seem possible. And uh, I, I don't know where time goes. And, no, it really has a way of just dashing by. And, and this show here is almost done. 36 <laughs> seconds left again. Wow. Like this show goes fast. It sure does. I don't know where time goes. I don't either, but hey. Now, you know, back in uh, when you were also, of course, in religion, and you talk about Easter, of course, you had Holy Thursday coming up. And yes, and then Good, Good Friday. Friday. Stations of the Cross on yeah. that. And then the church was vacant on Saturday yeah, then yeah. because uh, sad, you know, the, the host visual. had been taken away and the door would be open on the tabernacle and there was yeah. nothing there yeah. until Easter Sunday morning. Right. Yep. But now with them doing Easter Sunday Masses on Saturday afternoon, it's a whole different... Well, they don't do Mass on the afternoon. Oh, they don't anymore? No, it's Not called for Easter? The, at 7 o'clock. Oh, it's Easter the Easter vigil? vigil. Okay. And it's three hours usually, sometimes four hours. Wow. Depending how like, how many what churches. Some uh -huh. churches have refreshments <laughs> that are doing afterwards, but definitely figure three <laughs> hours. Mm -hmm. So, mm. oh yeah. Wow. yeah it, it can be a long night. I would have. I so I go, we go 11 o'clock on Sunday, but. Um, mm -hmm. uh, no, Easter Sunday. I can, oh gosh, Easter Sunday was always. Dressed up little yes. suits and stuff and mm -hmm. hats and go to Sunday school and mm -hmm. whatever. And so we did and come back and come back home and have your basket. Yes. We had our dinner was always fried eggs, mashed potato, vegetable, and um, ham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was our Easter dinner. Mm. But yeah, fried eggs was always the tradition. Mm. So. Well, I suppose we better give this a yep. close out. All right. But you have a great Easter there, And you Paul, too, and you and your uh, family. And uh, yes, I look family. forward to checking in with you again soon. Yes, I know. I plan to have you back again soon because it, I, it's obviously you're, a, you're it's, people love hearing us, <laughs> us old people talking. <laughs> like I said, I feel like the two old men on the, on the Muppets here. On the Muppets. Sit, sit up there up in the balcony. Up in the balcony, yeah, yes. Yeah, no, and they're talking. <laughs> 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 Anyway, thanks to my uh, director, Ian Marks, as he's over there working on my computer again. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon around town. Have a great Easter and a great Passover. Take care now.